Okay, now we're we're still here at Kibbe Chapel. Effie Bumgardner came on over to this country and preached, and a lot of people got saved. And Sister Kibbe, Sister Blanche Kibbe, if you remember the names of W.O. Ott and Blanche Kibbe, W.O. or Brother Kibbe was not a Christian, but Sister Kibbe was, and she dedicated this land evidently in 1948 what the sign says and there's been a church here most of the time ever since I see now that Daryl Wilburn is back here now with it open again and here at this spot she began a church after several people got saved and here's what happened about Sister Blanche and Brother Ott each year she would go to conference and camp meeting at Mount Vernon, Kentucky for about 30 years and prayed for Brother Ott. And then one year she gave the preacher, wish I could think of his name, gave him Brother Ott's name and said, will you pray with me for my husband? About 30 years later, she wanted to go to camp meeting and conference and her car wouldn't start. And Brother Kibby said, I'll take you over there, but now I'm not going to stay, and I'm not going to church. He took her over there, and after she got unpacked, the singing was so good in the tabernacle that he decided to go down and sit in the tabernacle and listen to the singing. The same preacher was preaching, and... When he finished preaching, Brother Ott Kibbe went forward and gave his life to Jesus. After, I think it was like 30 years. I don't remember the exact, but it was decades. And then Brother Ott was called to preach, and that was another of my mentors, Brother Kibbe and Sister Kibbe. And that was right here. One of the things that Sister Kibbe would do was she would try her best to help me with words and with the English language, which I'm I'm terrible with the English language. And Brother Kibby would teach me geography and distances. People pour into your life if you'll go associate where the Lord leads you in the churches.